Hello everybody, this is test room number 12. Just going past the test centre here. This test room in South Wigston, driving test routes. This is test route number 12. And we're going to be turning right when we come out of Tigers Road here, onto Saffron Road. Just going to go past this van. This is taking us along Saffron Road. We're going to take the next left. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> That's the wrong one, sorry. It's at the traffic lights. I don't know what's wrong with me today. There you go. So we're going to turn left at the traffic lights. We're moving into the left-hand lane. I'll get where my junctions are in a bit, don't worry. <laughs> These lights are, it looks like they've been on red for a little while actually, because there's a little bit of a queue already. Um, so it shouldn't be too long before we start to move along again. Let's just see. So we're on Saffron Road, and this, when we turn uh, left here, it's going to take us into Blavy Road in Wigston. We don't need to indicate here, because from this lane, we can only go left. There's no other option. So we're just going to follow this around. And then we're going to turn left at this uh, next left into Clifford Street. Now what we know about Clifford Street is it's a one-way street and uh, there's park cars on both sides so we're going to take our time as we go along here. But when we do get to the end we're going to be turning right and because it's a one-way street, we're going to put ourselves into the right-hand lane. Although this van seems to be blocking it up at the moment. So we're just going to hang back, see what he's doing. He's got his brake lights on there. Is he moving on? He's manoeuvring around. He's got his reversing lights on. So I'm just going to wait back here. I'm going to give him more room than he needs. I think he's just trying to park next to the curb there uh, so he can do his daily work. Maybe that's what it is. He seems to be stopped now, so I'm going to move forward. Obviously, now, this is a one-way street, and I should be on the right-hand side, but I can't be because of the white van. So I'm going to just alter that, and then I'm just going to stay in this lane and move around. And that's fine, isn't it, to do that? You have to adapt yourself to the situations uh, that you find yourself along. And so we're just following this road along here now. come to where the end here is really and uh, we're going to turn right now it's just a bend in the road here so we don't need to indicate but it's very tight very very tight we're on Kirkdale Road we're turning into Station Road and it's a very tight turn uh, but there it is so this is Station Road is a bit weird because it'll do a, a left at the end and still be Station Road so that's what Wigston is all about. The roads are a bit weird like that in some places. Uh, but we're not gonna go uh, left, we're gonna go straight ahead, or we're gonna turn uh, right and then left, which is gonna take us into Canal Street. So we're just gonna ease out once it's clear to do so. Clear now, that's, and then we're gonna turn left into Canal Street. Um, a little bit of a dodgy junction back there really one to be aware of one to kind of learn if you can 
that's bringing us along here past the McVitie's place people waiting to go into work there today looks like all got their face masks on all ready to do their daily business there's lots of cars that are parked as a row isn't there actually of cars parked along here so I'm, I'm making sure that I'm not too close to the door mirrors and you can see I'm quite wide in the road when we get to the end of the road we're going to turn left and that's going to take us into Counterstort Road And again, Countersort Road at this point is a 30 mile an hour road, 3-0. Uh, but when you get past these signs here, then it becomes a 60 miles an hour. Although just at this point, we're not going to be doing 60. It's going to take it steady as we go around the bends. This bit of raised curb, by the way, there's raised pavement on your left. That's because it floods sometimes along that, just in that little section. The road floods, so it means that you can still walk, uh, you know, you can still be a pedestrian along there. We're coming up now, uh, so, so, should I say, we're, we're uh, on a straighter bit of road, and it means we can do more than 30. We can get up to 60, 60 miles an hour, it's a speed limit here, and we can, uh, you know, kind of get going really, we can get moving along this bit. Speed limit does change as we come along here. It changes from 60, the national speed limit, to 40. So we must be doing 40 or below as we pass those signs. And we're coming up to some traffic lights then. We're just going to go straight ahead at these lights. Uh, they've been on green a little while, so do be careful if, you, if they've been on green a while. Just try and make sure that, you know, if they do change, then you do have, you can stop. then a 40 mile an hour road still just going to take it nice and steady and we're going to come now into counters thought and we can see that the speed limit has changed again and now it's 30 miles an hour just ahead of us there is a mini roundabout now that mini roundabout will be turning left so presently we're on Counterstort Road, we've just come into Counterstort, there's a mini roundabout here and we're turning left taking the first exit which is taking us into Foston Road. We're on Foston Road, we're not going to be on Foston Road for very long because we're going to be turning right soon which is just right here. into Rosebank Road. I'm just going to wait for this red car, red, white and blue actually. That's a bit weird isn't it? I've got red car, white car, blue car. Is it the Italian job? Are we, in a, are we on a film set? That's it. We've turned into Rosebank Road here now and it means that you know um, this is still 30 but there's lots of parked cars. It's a, it's a kind of residential road lots of opportunities to do for the examiner to get you to do your uh, kind of reversing maneuvers so this is a good area to come around and kind of practice those because this is where you're going to be doing the emergency stop or sorry controlled stop uh, you know parking on the wrong side of the road perhaps doing a parallel park all, all of those all of those you can do along here can use this car for instance to do a parallel park. Now we're going to take the next right and that's going to take us into Skyway. There's a red car parked in the way so I'm just 
just going to move over and then there's a car that's parked opposite that so I'm just going to take my time take it nice and easy nice and steady as I go through here okay it brings us to the end of this road I'm going to turn right into Scotland Way as we come into Scotland Way we can see that the road just bends around to the left here and that's where we're going to go and we're now moving on to a one-way system and we can see there's a line that, that where the one-way system starts I'm just going to look over my shoulder just to make sure that it's clear before I move into this road and at the end of this road I'm going to turn right and because it's a one-way street I'm going to turn right from the right hand lane quite a dodgy one because it's blind on that side and there is a car there but we're fine and then at the roundabout I'm going straight ahead and that takes us into Central Street and we're just following this Central Street around now She's struggling a little bit with her push chair there. Didn't want to drive past her while she was uh, struggling. We're going to turn left at the end. to Leicester Road he's going to lead us out of Counter Store we're now coming up to the roundabout where we turned left at the mini roundabout should I say that we turned left at earlier uh, but this time we're going to turn right at it uh, not right we go, <laughs> dearie me we're going to go straight ahead at it Counterstore Road that we came out of Wigston on, and we're just going down it on the opposite direction. And when we get to the traffic lights here, we'll be turning left. It's breaking a little bit, indicating down for left. Go. Being careful not to go over the hatched lines. And this is now taking us into Hospital Lane. Hospital Lane is a 60 mile an hour road. Down at 30 miles an hour, and we're just going to come past the 
schools there. So we're on hospital lane. And there's going to be two mini roundabouts. We're going to turn left at the first one and then right at the second one. So it's going to be left and then right. And you can see that the left turn from hospital lane is going to take us into Welford Road in um, Blaby. Speed bump here. We've got over the top of that one and then we're going to turn right the second mini roundabout and that's going to take us into Western Drive. Now there's a, it's quite a wide road is Western Drive. There's a there's a cross in here just outside the shops. It's quite faded, it needs to be repainted in. And when we get to the end of the road here, we're going to be turning left. And that's, so we're on Western Drive in Blaby, we're turning left at the end of the road, and uh, we're going to, that will take us into Lutterworth Road. Being careful not to signal too early there because there's a little kind of slip road just before the end and we can move out now and this is still a 30 mile an hour zone at this point just 30 we're going to keep it nice and steady and again there's more speed bumps here to consider over these speed bumps you want to be doing around about 20 no more than that really and that's just good for the car and it also that's what they're about they're there to slow you down and we can see as we come along Lutterworth Road here first of all there's someone trying to pull out in front of us I'm just going to ease off I'm going to see where he wants to go is he going to come out no he's waiting for us that's fine it's a big old digger I'm not going to argue with him uh, but here we can see that the speed limit now changes from 30 back up to 40 miles an hour this is going to bring us to the end of Lutterworth Road really in the blaby section of it and we're going to turn right uh, when we get there and there'll be a roundabout and here it is uh, we're going to turn right it's going to be the third exit so that's the first exit there which is the rest of Lutterworth Road and that's the second exit there which is Winchwood Drive and now or Winchwood Road and now we're turning off the roundabout there into the blaby bypass the Blaby Bypass, you know it's a 50 mile an hour road, so we need again to get moving. Just to let people know that we've seen that it's a 50 road and we're quite capable of doing that speed. But as you come down here, as you come into the roundabout here, you'll notice that the speed limit changes back to 30 and it does it like a, a little way back from the actual junction itself. So we must make sure that we're doing no more than 30 as we go past those signs. And we're going to go straight ahead at this roundabout here. It's been the second exit. There we are. Again, we're back up to 50 miles an hour along this baby bypass. roundabout here then we're going to take this third exit but we're still going to go straight ahead 
that means there's two exits on the left there's the first one Enderby Road the second one is into the industrial estate here so I'm going to indicate here and I'm going to come off the roundabout now and that still keeps us on the baby bypass as we come along this road here it's a 50 mile an hour zone going all the way to the end When we get to the end again we can see that the speed limit changes quite early quite a long way from the roundabout itself down to 30 so we must make sure that we've got down to that speed and then we're going to turn left at the roundabout taking the first exit and that's going to take us into Leicester Road so we're on the bypass now the Blaby bypass I'm going to turn left into Leicester Road under the bridge and we can see in front of us is there some traffic lights uh, there's two sets and we're going to go straight ahead at both of those sets of lights so we're just following the road here now following the road ahead and at some point this Leicester Road will become Lutterworth Road that's a bit strange it's Lutterworth Road it kind of in sections following the road along the road becomes a little busier along here doesn't it along along this uh, Leicester Road stroke Lutterworth Road um, I say that because most all the locals all call this bit Lutterworth Road but all the signposts say Leicester Road so it's a bit weird This, uh, this crossing here, there's someone waiting at it, so and the wait light's lit, so I'm just going to be careful just in case it changes. It hasn't changed, so we're fine to carry on. And now we're coming up to where there's a uh, bus lane. We've got to make sure that we do not go into the bus lane. It's, operation, it's in operation for 24 hours at all times. So it's, we're, it's not available to us, really, basically must stay out of the bus lane um, I'm just to let you know on that bus lane there's cameras on it as well which catches quite a few people out I don't know where the cameras are but you can always see in the local paper uh, that it says oh they've caught this many people that have made this much money from this bus lane as people have gone in it you know, <laughs> every now and again so it's not a money-making exercise at all we shouldn't be that cynical uh, but we know that it is. Nice and steady along here. We're going to come to some traffic lights ahead of us. There'll be a crossroads and uh, we're going to be turning right when we get to those traffic lights. So we're going to move into the appropriate lane for turning right, which is the right hand lane. Now it's going to take us into Glen Hills Way. which um, going by the theme of roads that are called two and three different things Glen Hills Way is called Glen Hills Way and Glen Hills Boulevard at the same time so you know someone down at the council uh, you know heads heads need to roll don't they really but we're just waiting here and uh, we're waiting for the lights to change now if you see the the light cluster opposite perhaps you can't quite see it on the camera uh, but there's an extra green light it's not on this one that we're, we're facing but on the opposite side of the junction there's an extra green light and on that on that means there's going to be a green arrow that's going to help us to go around there now the point here is you don't have to wait for the green arrow if you've got a green light and it's clear you can go you don't have to wait for the arrow the only thing the arrow does is it stops the rest of the traffic and it means that it will be clear for you so now we've got a green light and a green arrow so we can see all the rest of the traffic has stopped and we're going to turn into the left hand side the left hand lane onto Glen Hills Boulevard Glen Hills Way 
and just as this black car in front of us did so they've got it spot on so we're taking it nice and steady this is a 30 mile an hour zone this Glen Hills uh, way sure because the, 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 the kind of gradient on this hill means that the car will go, just go quicker naturally as it rolls down the hill so we're just keeping an eye on the speed but steady 28 29 and it means uh, that we're not going to be breaking the speed limit and as the as the hill flattens out here so we don't want to lose any of the speed but there are there are people behind us want to be aware of that as well we also want to get on so we're going to try and make sure that the speed stays more or less the same even as it uh, going downhill on the flat and as we start to climb the hill again as we climb the hill we're going to come up to the Port Pie Island and at that Port Pie roundabout we're going to turn right for South Wixton that means we need to be in the right hand lane Now this Port Pie Island is a spiral roundabout. Uh, there are videos on the on the uh, Driving Test Wizard channel uh, about this Port Pie Island, quite a few, so you can have a look at those. But here we are, we're turning right, we're taking the fifth exit from Glen Hills Way into South Wigston Saffron Road, Saffron Lane. It's also called two different things. And we're just gonna follow the lower lane out and around. So it moves us out here. And then again it moves us out here and then we're going to indicate the left and then we're going to come off onto this saffron lane saffron road um, at different points it's called again a 30 mile an hour zone we see we've gone around this test route quite quickly we've not done all the kind of maneuvers or anything like that which will take a bit of time uh, but you can see but again you know it's got its pitfalls it's got the port pipe roundabout uh, we've got the, we went round the um, uh, the one-way system in Counterstorp we've done a big loop with a big old loop there uh, which is bringing us back towards the test centre now and along here we've we'll just come past one mini roundabout and uh, we're going to carry on and there'll be two more two more mini roundabouts at each one we're going to go straight ahead but at each one make sure that you brake you drop the kind of second gear and that you have a good look to make sure that it's clear for you to carry on so there you go we'll drop the kind of second gear see where the white car and the blue car is going they're both coming straight on which means i can carry on if I just leave it in third gear and carry on regardless, it cuts down the amount of time I have to make the correct decision. Okay, so that's why we need to slow down enough, get into gear two, and then approach the roundabout, the mini roundabout in uh, that gear. Here we can see it's fully clear, look, fully clear, fully clear ahead of us uh, for this roundabout, but I'm still going to break. And I'm still going to drop it into second gear and that's because this side road is quite blind and anything can come up to there from Gloucester Crescent anything can come up to there and they do come up and they do come up quite quickly okay so you know you have to make good observations all around the main reason the number one reason for people failing the test is observations at junctions so give yourself time and give yourself an opportunity to get that right we're going to turn right when we go uh, at this next roundabout and that will take us back into Tigers Road and that's test route number 12 and uh, and that's done so I shall see you in the next video uh, which will be test route number 13 cheers guys